So it's December, I'm in Texas. One of the, the big things to do is drive around, look at Christmas lights, people make a big production out of it. I don't remember Christmas lights being as big a deal growing up in New York, maybe it just wasn't a big deal to my family, so I just never experienced it. But down here, people go all out, all out. But anyway, my girlfriend and I are gonna go driving around looking at Christmas lights. But before we go, I am gonna make us a little treat to bring along. Uh, you can probably tell by the two or three ingredients I have out, what I'm gonna make. We're doing hot cocoa. Uh, last year, I made us some hot chocolate, which is different, right? Different than hot cocoa. With hot chocolate, I just melted down some like chocolate bars and added milk to it, and it was delicious. It was like drinking a chocolate bar. This year, I wanna go a little more traditional. I wanna use cocoa, sugar, salt, and I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna do a little experiment. We're gonna brown some butter, and we're gonna try and get like a little, little hint of butterscotch in our hot chocolate. I don't know if it's gonna work. It might work. I hope it works. I think it's gonna be really good. Let's find out. So I've never done this before, but I have a pretty good idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. It's essentially a mixture of powdered cocoa. Oh my God, that's way too much already. Just fell out of there. Hang on, let me get a spoon. Okay, let's get this out of here. Okay, that's a little better, my God. Anyway, powdered cocoa and sugar. More sugar than cocoa. And we'll see, we're gonna mix it in. We'll see how it looks. I'm gonna say more sugar. Oh my God, this spoon. More sugar. Okay. And like salt, like a lot, a decent amount of salt. I'm doing like two big pinches of salt in there. I may even add more sugar. We'll see. And the thing is like, there's no way to taste it until we mix it with the milk. But we can adjust it after that. This is our tentative hot cocoa mixture. We're about to brown some butter. Not as difficult as it seems. We got a pan on medium. We're probably gonna, in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. A little bit less than medium. Throwing some butter in. And we have a whisk. And we're gonna move it around. Get the butter melted, and we don't want to cook it too quickly because there is a very fine line between browning butter and burning butter. You kind of have to walk that line if you want sufficiently browned butter. Now, I'm being a little conservative with how much butter I put in because I don't want it to be like overly butterscotch or brown butter flavor. What I want is this, a hint, just a hint of butterscotch or brown butter. And now we just wait a little bit. And once we see the color change a little bit, gets a little darker, we are going to whisk until we're done, until we're, we're not browning anymore. If you let the milk solids sit still, they will burn and then you will not have brown butter. You'll have burned butter. Notice how the butter looks a little more clear. This is the point I'm just gonna start moving it around. And I'm using my eyes I'm using my nose to determine when it's ready. And we gotta be careful, because see how it's quickly changing color? It's gonna continue to quickly change color. We gotta keep moving it. I'm calling it good. A gentle golden brown here. To this, we're gonna add our milk, just right into it. Keep it on the heat. Milk goes in. We don't wanna boil the milk. It's really, it doesn't hurt it if you boil the milk. It's, it, just get the milk hot. <laughs> That's all we wanna do. And that way the sugar and cocoa will dissolve into it without any real resistance. Throw a little bit heavy cream in. That's plenty. Not quite half and half. 
In fact, not even close to half and half. It's just whole milk, a little bit of heavy cream for some added richness, plus the brown butter. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna throw a little more heavy cream in there. Yeah, that much. I'm trying to get a little bit of air in there, get a little bit lighter. Okay, that's warm enough. So I don't have a clear mug to do this in, but I do have this glass, and so that's what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna put some of our cocoa, sugar, salt mixture in here. Let's see, let's do about this much. No, let's do more. Now I'm gonna use a fork to stir this because I wanna try and break up any pieces of cocoa that might stick together. Let's see how we do. Do a little bit at a time. Might have been too much cocoa in there. We'll see, actually, that's kinda... It smells good. Now let's get a little bit more. That smells really good. I'm hoping there's enough sugar. That's good. I was not expecting that. That's really good. This may be the first experimental recipe that I would not change a thing about. I forgot I gotta do an outro. I'm like cleaning up. I'm done, I checked out. Okay, listen. Make this, make this. If you, if you make any of my cooking video, if you do any of the videos, if you, if you try anything, try this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos as often as I can. See you next time.